Hello Pioneers! One of the biggest challenges most Pi miners are facing is the fact that they can't find a marketplace or anyone close by within their region to trade with their Pi coin with. Stop bothering, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna show you an exciting update on where exactly you can shop and spend Pi. But just before I begin, there is another big win for Pi as at today, Pi Network has finally been listed on the list of incubated companies at Stanford University. So guys, for all pioneers, a great cause has just begun. So fellas, I implore you to consider following our newly opened X, formerly known as Twitter account, because we plan to start doing massive giveaways on it in order to appreciate our follower. I'll drop the link in the description of this video and also pin it in the comment section as well. But just before we proceed, if you have any enquiry or business proposal, you can send me a message via my email address in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. With that been said, let's get started. Many pioneers around the world have begun exchanging Pi for goods and services. People have bought cars. Pi, when I get local, this is my Pi. I will take this Pi now, my back on. Hundreds of acres of land, food stuff, among others. There is even a famous YouTuber whom have claimed to have bought Gadget from Amazon with PyCoin. In case you haven't seen the video, I'll drop the link to it in the description of this video. There is currently mild discussion concerning the various price. Some people are claiming that there is a consensus of $315 for a single PyCoin. Many more are saying that the price should be around $100, which they claim to be a more realistic price for Pi. And believe it or not, a lot of individuals do trade on both pricing, provided that both the service provider and the client agree on what the price should be. Guys, before I forget, let me offer a critical proposal. What if we all go on various social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and it's like, and start commenting hashtag one pie of hundred dollars? Because in my opinion, the amount of juice we give each pie will determine the ultimate agreed upon pricing. Do you think these objectives will be successful? Please leave a comment if you agree that this is a good idea. Okay guys, I will let you know how you can search for marketplaces and why you should use my method. A large wave is approaching. Millionaire pies have you prepared? So fellas, um, just as excited as you. The Pi Network token can also be used for transactions and as a means of payment. Let's talk about the guidelines that the Pi Network has established for all pioneers before I continue to show you the sites where you can shop using Pi as payment. So if you are facing any issue regarding Pi, you can drop it in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to address it as soon as I can. According to the Pi Network, pioneers can trade with one another and swap Pi for goods and services. Pi, however, cannot be used to swap for any other cryptocurrency or for fiat money. These are extremely prohibited and may result to account of the offender being suspended or deleted. This needs to be done correctly. If not, Pi will simply die. I will say this once to anyone who keeps asking how they may exchange their Pi for fiat currency or who wants to sell their Pi. Stop looking into the possibility of selling your Pi. The core team does not support it at this time because it is against the law. Locate business people in your region who are eager to trade Pi for goods and services. Additionally, watch out for persons who pretend to be interested in purchasing a Pi coin from you. They are merely con artists. Everyone will soon have access to apps and markets where they may make purchases and pay with Pi. These markets are prepared, I assure you. However, everyone is awaiting the Pi Network team's SDK. The SDK is practically finished as of the time of this video. Klingon. I am aware that you are eager to visit the markets, but I must first issue a warning. Please pay close attention. You can reach approved merchants who have passed and are properly connected to the Pi Network blockchain using the Pi Network browser, which was made to assist you with a variety of tasks. Therefore, please ensure that you are using the Pi Network browser when looking for marketplaces or marchants. In my demonstration, I'll compare what occurs when I search for a specific retailer using the Pi Network browser to what happens when I use the standard browsers on your PC or mobile device. 
I'll now highlight a few of the shops or markets that are available and are about to start much sooner than you might anticipate. Please note that I will only be mentioning the most important stores and marketplaces that I believe you should be aware of. The Pie Chain Mall will be the first I examine. Pie Chain Mall is a reputable international e-commerce network with over 660 subcategories and 30 established categories. What you have is the next one. In this market, retail businesses compete with one another to offer products and deals at lower prices. Also, it will be universal. The Pie Barter Mall comes next. This is an online store where you can use Pi Coins to pay for a variety of physical and digital goods. The Pi Browser is a crucial step in your trip through the Pi Network if you haven't already. I'll start my example by opening my computer and browsing to the Pi Chain Mall website. When the home page loads, you will see something similar. Please be aware that the website has not yet been formally released and that it is unable to connect to the Pi Network because the Pi Team Steak is still not available. Now permit me to use the Pi Network browser to enter the same page. After it starts, you'll see that it loads the website properly, unlike how it would or would appear on an ordinary computer. Since we are already here, allow me to briefly tour the online shop. The store is now showing categories from several nations. The Pi Barter Mall will be the next store I highlight. You may also have noticed that a variety of goods, including clothes, jewelry, cell phones, fragrances, and wine, are already lined up for purchase with the Pi currency. Having your order delivered to you from anywhere in the world is the best part. You can also make a payment using Pi as you might have imagined. Therefore, early adopters should prepare for the appearance of these applications and several additional shops similar to these ones at the Pi Network marketplaces, which will only be accessible through the Pi browser. We are currently counting down to the official release of the Steed Icon API by the Pi team, which will allow marketplaces and other ecosystem friendly dApps to connect with the Pi Network blockchain. Let me briefly demonstrate how the Pi Network browser's marketplace functions. When you visit any of the marketplaces, choose the item you want to purchase and then use Pi as payment. You must sign in before you can click on shop. Your wallet will be linked to the marketplace during this sign in procedure and you will then be prompted to choose a region. However, try to avoid losing your Pi to scammers and persons who claim to be in a position to buy your Pi coins in the interim. I will be supplying more fundamental information about how the marketplaces will function with your Pi Network browser and the Pi Network wallet if you pay close attention by subscribing to my channel. Be wise. Be prepared. The optimum time to click the notification button if you haven't already done so is now if you want to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. We'll stop here for now. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also, if you have any business proposal, kindly check out the email in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.